Hi, Bruce from Seattle Activist Report here. I've got some video to show you. On August 29th, I went and saw Rosa Corre speak about her book, Behind the Green Mask. This book is all about United Nations Agenda 21. Agenda 21 is a non-binding agreement signed in 1992 by President Bush. It contains measures for smart growth, sustainable development, green technologies, new urban planning scenarios. What's revealed by this book, though, is that Agenda 21 is being used by government and corporate interests to deny property rights to private property holders and smaller businesses around the nation. So it's a timely read as the nation, in Washington in particular, get heavily invested in the smart growth ideology, and it urges you to take another look at a popular topic. So without further ado, and I apologize somewhat for the video as I only had a cell phone, but please enjoy Rosa Corey speaking about Behind the Green Mask. Now they slide back and forth. Or like I said, Margaret Kegler from uh, City Council in Seattle is now on the Executive Board of Ickley. They move back and forth. They are able to make policy and then they profit from it later. But it's way more than that. Like Glenn said, this kind of stuff has been going on since Hector was a pup. There's always been somebody running the world. And probably there's nobody in this room who is. I know I'm not. And there always has been. But the difference now is that there is really a total melding between non-governmental groups, corporations, and your government. And these are what public-private partnerships are. This is what's happening. So we have lost control. In fact, you know, they, they're bringing uh, armed men into these meetings now. Yeah, men with guns. They're called police officers. <laughs> yeah, they bring the walls in these uh, government meetings. I say, wow, you must be really scared of us middle class, middle aged people who might say something. I've been chased down the aisle of a government meeting with a mic in my hand by a cop. <laughs> I'm like, what are you going to do, shoot me because I'm going to say something? Uh, smart growth is not, it's, it's not just a design, the design style. Of course, it's the, it's the preferred design style for Agenda 21. But it's not just that. It is an ideology. It's an ideology. The idea that uh, we're going to have transit villages, and this is going to create community. These are the lies we see. What does it do? It destroys community, real community. Transients, that's what you are when you're in an apartment. The transients. You don't care what's happening next door, much less across the street. This is what this is about. It's creating a group of people who do not feel any cohesion or any community. Now, it's global, regional, neighborhood. None of those are elected, are they? Global, regional, neighborhood. We've got city, county, state, and fed. You elect all those people. Those are your representatives. If you don't like what they're doing, you can boot them out, hopefully. What are you going to do about global, regional, and neighborhood? Now it gets worse. You thought we had 50 states.
whole lot of country is going to be the wildland. And the rest of it, just these few hub areas, are the mega region areas. Now you have to be in a mega region here. You were in Cascadia. <laughs> now I said it breaks jurisdictional boundaries, right? So it's part of Washington, part of Oregon, and part of Canada. That's right. Breaks jurisdictional boundaries. And the one in Southern California is called SOCAP. It is including part of Mexico. Get this mess? Most of these are Ipley cities. Most of these are Ipley cities. High speed rail is just paid for it. It's okay, you don't need your car, because you're going to have high speed rail to take you. Well, wherever that line goes, and nowhere else. Because you're not going to be going after the wild lands, because that's why they're wild lands. ABCD Asset Based Community Development. That is about mandatory volunteering. Mandatory volunteering, don't you love it? Yeah. Hey. Who's heading that one up? Jim Dyers, who was the head of the Department of Neighborhoods in Seattle. He's now working with the University of Chicago. And they also train who? <coughs> yes, Obama. Oh, Michelle is on the faculty of the Asset Based Community Development Institute. Yes, is a fight for the hearts and minds of our nation. And it's not about being a Democrat or Republican, because freedom, of course, is nonpartisan. So you want to withdraw your financial and your volunteer support from any nonprofit or group that is supporting sustainable development. Okay? And that means you need to check it out. You need to look at who, who's on. They love to advertise these things, too. It's on everybody's website. It's easy to do your research now. You find out who's on your staff, who's the staff, who's the executive director, where do they get their funding from, where do they work, what building is it. You'll find a lot actually from even looking at locations of buildings. Who owns the building? Who else is a tenant in that same office, in the same suite of offices? You'll find connections like that. You want to, uh, you got to know your enemy, right? You want to expose the collaborators. If you have people who are in your, uh, your, your council who are taking money from groups that agitate and support sustainable development, you want to expose that, especially in an election year. You know? You want to do your man on the street video. Hey, in fact, you want to take, you want to have, you've got a group here, you want to publicize this. Go to the university, go to the junior colleges, go to the high schools and say, we are going to have a series of awards for men on the street interviews and for, and for videos on Agenda 21 in our area. Get the kids in here. Bring the young people on board with us. Get them to get out there and do a, a man on the street thing. Have you heard of Agenda 21? Have you ever heard of Agenda 21? Do you know, did you know that North Park City is a member of it? And then you have an awards banquet you give your awards, you show your films, you rent a, a, a local movie theater, and you have your film festival. That's what you're going to do. Okay? You want to dominate your government meetings. Dominate your government meetings. Get in there. Look at this room. If we are all, if we agree that for a couple of weeks, you know, we would take turns going to everyone's town during their council meeting. And we would keep them there all night saying, we want out of it. We do not want to support climate action plans. We, want, we do not want anything to do with that federal money. If your elected official is turning down a federal grant, you better be there. Because that is suicide. You've got to be in that room and say, yes, we are with you. We would rather not have the money. That's a tough thing to do. You've got to be here. What else do you want to do? We've got
got flyers. Those flyers and those chairs, those are not for you to look out and throw out. Those are for you to make a hundred of each one and get up and get out there and put them on porches all over town, wherever you are. And then do it again next weekend, right? You want to you want to encourage your local government to withdraw from the Council of Government. You want to get out of the Council of Government. That is voluntary, the Council of Government. You want out of there. If you're paying dues to your uh, Board of Realtors,